Your EPIC vacuum gripper should be inspected and cleaned on a monthly basis. So again, the first thing you'll want to do is turn off the robot and remove those four screws. You'll want to clean it with a clean, dry towel. Do not use any liquids or alcohol, just a dry towel will do. Simply remove any dirt that could be accumulated on it. Underneath, you want to make sure that those contact pins are nice and clean. And you want to do the same thing on the coupling side. Inspection wise, you want to look for any damage, any sign that the gripper might have hit something. So you want to visually inspect. You also want to inspect the air intake filter. So you want to remove that suction cup or the manifold if you have other configurations. And take a look at the mesh filter right here. Make sure that it's nice and clean. And if you see that it needs cleaning or replacement, you'll want to use a set of snap ring pliers and remove the snap ring to have access to the filter. Now that the snap ring has been removed, you want to take out the filter. So if you're lucky, just by turning the EPIC upside down and shaking it a little bit, it will come out then you can either clean or replace. If you're not as lucky, it might be stuck down there. So you'll want to take a pair of very small pliers like long nose. So I use tweezers and you go and get it, but be careful because you might damage it. So before doing this, make sure you have a brand new one uh, on hand.